is picture of Sanji I drew. Uh, he is very much hero of this chapter. Uh, if you like, remember to follow on Instagram, Twitter, and the Facebook, and then you will see more picture like this. Thank you. One Piece, Chapter 86, Heroism versus Fishman Cruelty. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as per usual, am Jim here to bring you another review on the action-packed, thrilling minute tale of One Piece. As you can see, I'm wearing my trademark One Piece shirt. Uh, being in a household, uh, married and having three kids, I really don't dictate anything about laundry except for maybe bringing a basket down or up. Um, you know, when my wife tells me to do so. So, uh, I, I did wear it and, uh, and had to wait for it to come back clean to me. So, the last chapter, it was very much uh, Zoro versus Hachi is what it was. Zoro, we saw, was losing um, a, ton of, uh, a ton of blood. You know, his wounds from Hawkeye had really affected him. But in the end, he was able to, uh, you know, to defeat Hachi... Uh, pretty pretty handily, and I mean, just pretty much beat his ass. But uh, but Zoro's pretty much you know collapsed down to one knee, and and now Sanji is going to go at it with Kirubi. Uh, Kirubi tried to blindside you know Zoro at the end of the last chapter, and Zoro is like, okay, now I got to get in. And Sanji you know saves him or whatever, you know, kicks Kirubi and says, okay, now we're going to duel. And uh, and Zoro is like, I'm gonna you know I got to go in and save him. Now remember Genzo, um, the the villager, as well as uh, Nami's sister Nojiko had had dove down and are trying uh, fruitlessly to this point to to save Luffy. So that's how the chapter had ended. That's how this one begins. It begins with Zoro basically sitting there like, okay, and he's getting ready to like go and plunge into the water. But I mean, he he can't even stand. I mean, he's he's bloodied and broken. And uh, so Sanji goes and he says, you know, you, you fool, you can't go in there, you'll wind up dying, you know. And he says, listen, Luffy's got to be at the end of his air now. I mean, he's got to be, you know, he's got to be close to dead. I, I've got to go in and save him. And then Sanji goes, yeah, you, I, you understand that, you crap swordsman. He's like, that's why you'll understand what I'm going to do now. So Sanji goes and kicks off his shoes and jumps in the water. He dives in, fresh, you know. And Zoro's uh, like, you son of a bitch, you know, you idiot, because... Now, that, that's exactly what the fishmen wanted. Kirubi goes and dives in after him, and, you know, they're fishmen. So they can breathe underwater, they can fight underwater, and ultimately, you know, a human is going to be slower, weaker, and, of course, need air being underwater. So Sanji goes and he's diving down, diving down. As he gets closer, he goes and he sees Luffy's body, and he's going, is that the head man? And Genzo's, like, you know, pumping his chest, you know, you know, trying to give him, uh, trying to get some, you know, get his heart pumping again or get his lungs working. And then we go and we see in the next panel, it was really cool and really just, you know, uh, insightful what they did, you know, and ingenious. Luffy can stretch, right? So, well, Genzo's down there trying to kind of pump him and, and get him going as far as getting him breathing again because he just he had ingested so much water. They've stretched his neck and head out the 50 or 100 feet or whatever underwater because he is obviously stretchy. And, um, and, and Nojiko is up, you know, above the water and is holding his head out of the water. And she's like, I can't bring your whole body up yet because obviously he's still attached to that rock. But, you know, hopefully you can breathe. So this goes on for a couple panels, but eventually he goes and just spits out a bunch of water, you know, kind of like in the movies. You know, you think they're dead, then all of a sudden, <coughs> you know, that, that's how I imagine it. And, uh, and it was actually real cool because, it, like I said, real thoughtful, something I never would have thought of. So, um, so you know, obviously that, that's a good thing. Now, uh, then it goes back to Sanji, and Sanji's like, okay, and he's thinking in his head, all I got to do now, you know, Luffy's good, he can breathe, whatever. All I got to do is hit that rock with one of my, you know, one of my trademark kicks. It'll bust it up and they can save him. Right as he's about to do that, man, Kirubi comes in, you know, he gives him the Fishman Karate, and he just nails him with this big elbow. And he comes at him with a number of different moves, you know, and he's just, you know, just mopping the floor with him. And the problem is, is I mean, Sanji does go in and hit him and kick back, but he's basically like, listen, first of all, I'm stronger than you. Second of all, you're underwater, so your kicks only have like half the power. All my moves are just as strong. Some of them are even multiplied with their power underwater. So... Don't know exactly how that works, I guess because of the fins and everything else. I know that when I was in uh, the martial arts, when I used to want to practice to get faster and stronger, I would go in a pool and practice kicks and punches because uh, the resistance, you know, from the water was, was so great. So uh, so they're, they're going back and forth and battling, and then Kirubi goes and, and winds up saying to him, because he can talk underwater, right? There's a, a point where Sanji just doesn't have much breath left, and, you know, he got hit, but he let out too much air because he's holding his breath underwater while he's fighting him. And Kurubi goes and he says, yeah, you know, after I go and kill you, I'm going to kill the headman, 
uh, you know, Genzo, the, the village headman, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to kill your buddy, right? I'm going to go and I'm going to kill the swordsman. I'm going to kill the long-nosed guy. He's talking about Usopp. I'm going to kill everybody in the damn village. And then, just for good measure, I'm going to go kill Nami. So, now, we know that, that Sanji's got the hots for Nami as it is, but, um, you know, certainly, if you really want to egg somebody on and piss them off, uh, th that's the way to do it. You know, go ahead and tell them that you have no hope of winning and that after I go and finish with you, I'm going to kill everybody else you're trying to protect and love and care about, right? That's really, you know, to me, that is one of the stupidest things that can ever be done, but I know it makes for good television, movie, comic, manga type thing because it's, you know, it's basically the bad guy going and saying, I've won, and now I'm going to tell you how dastardly and evil I am. And then it gives the good guy the strength from within to come back and fight. Kirubi grabs him, though, and he winds up doing this death plunge on him where basically it's like a, a depth plunge where he says, listen, you know, because you're a human, your lungs can't even handle the change in pressure when you go down. And anybody who doesn't know anything about water, that's one of the reasons that we can't get into, like, the Marinara Trench, Mariana Trench or whatever, all the way down there because it's so many thousands of feet deep in the, and the pressure is so great that anything like us that breathes with lungs that has to have air would be crushed at that depth. So he winds up grabbing him because Sanji's trying desperately to swim up to get air, you know. And he grabs him and he does this plunge, you know, and just slams him straight down into the water, into the ground. And Sanji's, you know, he's not looking good, man. He's looking screwed. Goes to come up to do another one and Sanji goes and gets it in his head and he's thinking, he's like, you know what? The difference between these fish is that, yeah, they breathe on land, but then they activate these gills they have to go underwater and breathe, right? So he's basically just a fish right now. So as they're coming up and he's holding on to him and Sanji's, you know, and he's surprised Sanji's even still alive. But, uh, you know, because you can take more punishment than a normal human. Yeah, well, of course, because Sanji's a badass, right? So Sanji goes and thinks in his head, he goes, you know, I'll just treat him like a normal fish. If you, you know, if you grab a fish by its gills and you, and you inject air or get air into him, whatever, it basically can cause him to die, you know. So he goes and grabs onto the side of his face and he's like, <gasps> and just blows a bunch of air into him. <laughs> and Kirubi just, <laughs> and it, it obviously, you know, weakens him, hurts him. Um, you know, it, like I said, it, it, it was just it was really funny. And, and, and of course, another way that was very thoughtful, um, you know, and very just really smart as far as I'm concerned. So Sanji winds up being able to then go and get out of, out of the water, you know. And Zoro's like, oh, did you save Luffy? And he's like, well, yeah, half of him. <laughs> <laughs> because Sanji kind of gave up on him for the time being because he knows that at least he can breathe and he's got to deal with Kirubi, you know. So Arlong, though, is like, what the hell? Because he sees Sanji emerge, you know, and he doesn't see Kirubi at first. And he's like, what the hell? So uh, so anyway, Zoro, of course, is still, you know, still downed and whatnot. And this is very much the last chapter if it was Zoro versus Hachi. This one is very much Sanji versus Kirubi. It shows some insight, too, into the tenacity that Sanji has, the strength that he has, the inner strength, how he keeps going and going and going. And, um, and I think that's going to be a theme with a lot, of, uh, a, lot, a lot of the straw hats here, especially like a Zoro, a Luffy. Uh, but Sanji, you know, he kind of got beaten around the last time we saw him get into a major fight. And that was with, um, you know, that was, of course, with, with everything with Don Krieg. And, and Gin kind of beat his ass down. Now, he was already wounded and everything, mind you, because he had gotten, you know, attacked by Invincible Pearl and everything else. But uh, this is, I think this is one of those things where, you know, it, it really kind of shows the inner strength that he has. And it shows where he, you know, the intestinal fortitude, we'll call it, that he, he has. So, uh, so you know, Kirubi comes up out of the water and he's like, oh, yeah, you know, you want to fight me on land? That's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm stronger than you anyway. And he basically is still talking his shit. So he goes to come at Sanji with, you know, with, with one of his trademark or one of his special fishman karate moves, you know. And he's talking about how, you know, he gave him the hundred, you know, hundred foot punch, or but he's going to give him the thousand brick punch, right? So as he's talking his shit and about to come at him, man, Sanji, just remember, he hits him with a number of moves. But the first one he hits him is the same one that he kicked Momu in the throat with, that Kalie coup, or Kalie coup. And he just, you know, it just gets him right in the throat. And the neat thing about that is, is when you hit anybody in the throat, automatically when you crush that windpipe, it goes and it knocks the wind out of them. It's the same thing with like a kidney punch or hitting them right where it, where it knocks the breath out of them. So you can't breathe very well. You're off balance. You start to get dizzy. And he starts coming at him with everything under the sun, man. I mean, he is just whap, whap, you know. And obviously I'm using punches because I'm not going to jump up and start kicking in front of the camera. Uh, maybe one day when I have a better setup for that, but <laughs> not much room in here. So, uh, so he's going, you know, boom, 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 and just nailing him. And, uh, and, and ultimately, he winds up just, I mean, just fucking, you know, fucking Kirubi up. So that's, that's, the, uh, that's the short and skinny of it, the bottom line, as I like to say. Because Kirubi goes and goes to come at him, and he winds up and tries to do that, you know, that thousand-fist brick punch or what have you. 
comes at him, and I mean, you know, Sanji just lays his ass out, you know. So now we've Hachi's down, Kirubi looks to be down. Um, Luffy is hopefully going to be saved yeah, very soon here, and then I think within the next few chapters, it's going to be, you know, Luffy versus Arlong toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, we still, of course, have to see Usopp, though, and because as far as we know, he's still running from uh, from Chu. So <laughs> let me know what you think, though. Ultimately, I thought it was a fun, it was a nice action-packed chapter, but let me know what you think, brothers and sisters, in the comments down below. Uh, feel free to uh, hit the thumbs up, the like button, if you think I deserve it, and then, of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll look forward to catching you in the next one, nation. As always, thanks for watching, brothers and sisters. And remember, join the Nerd Nation. It's the right thing to do. Trust me. Trust me. Tell them Jim sent you.